Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel if you're in another video. Today I am super excited to be sharing this with you. Um, I'm more excited to open it for myself but I'm also excited to share it with you. This is a custom journal that I ordered. Um, this is from Mike Deacon. I will leave all his information linked in the description box below. Um, I know some of you already follow him and are familiar with him, but if you aren't and you like mixed media and journals, definitely go check him out. Um, but anyway, a couple months ago or a month ago, maybe, I think it was a couple months ago, um, he created a fortune teller journal that he did a flip through of on his channel. And he said if anyone wanted a custom order um, to contact him. So me and my aunt um, both wanted a journal. She got something different, but... Um, we decided to order them together and save on shipping. So this is my fortune teller journal that I have very patiently waited to open with you guys. So you're welcome. <laughs> it's like, I'm like a kid when the mail comes, I'm like, I will go to the post office and then like sit in my car and open it because I just can't wait. Um, Sometimes I do wait because I want to use things right away, and you kind of can't do that. Um, kind of can't just start playing with art supplies in the post office. I mean, you probably could, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is very well wrapped. Um, it did come from overseas, so very impressed with that. Ooh, so excited! I love this. This um, marble tissue paper, it's really pretty. And of course the star washi, can't go wrong with seal star washi. Oh no, I ripped it. That's okay. There's plenty of, plenty of the sheet left to use. Some of you will be very upset that I didn't save the washi, but. Oh, it looks like there's several sheets actually, so. Sweet. That will be fun to use. <gasps> smells good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. Like, look at how yummy that is. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. If I sound like an inappropriate, like, you know, X-rated show for a second, because, you know, don't mind me. Oh, it's a sun and moon charm. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, thank you, Mike. I love it. Love that. Okay. Here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm going to like destroy this before I even get it open. Okay. So in the front here, he does these really cool hidden pockets, which I love, love, love. Um, and this is like a fortune teller themed. So these are all like tarot cards which are super cool and then we have the vellum sheet that um, there's like a sun printed on it the fortune teller's palm and then sun and moon pages ast astrological pages and then there are these cool like envelopes here so you have the tarot card back here and then you have like the explanation of what it is, which I think is super, super freaking cool. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna use this yet because obviously I have quite a long ways to go in my journal that I'm working in now, but I cannot wait to um, write in this and fill it with all my stuff. I love all the stamping. This is so pretty. And the little pockets with ephemera. Oh, they're like, they're thick. He's backed them, which is super cool. I have no idea how many pages this thing has, but I like don't even care. It's so cool. So, you know, don't mind the silence as I draw. I 
I love that noise. <laughs> so cool. It's another tarot pocket. I just rewatched um, the video, the one he did the other day, because I was like waiting for it. I knew he had chipped it, so I was like, okay, all right, you can wait, you can wait, it's okay. <laughs> and it was so worth the wait. So cool. I love how everything like coordinates. I'm not this good at like coordinating all the things. And I love how crinkly everything is. And it lays relatively flat. Probably not after I stuff it full of eight pounds of ephemera, but at the moment it lays relatively flat. I mean, I could try to use it as a writing journal, but let's be honest. I can't just write. It just doesn't happen. It'll be interesting to see if um, whatever I'm writing about, when I get to the point of where the um, tarot's are with the envelope, if it'll line up in any way. Sometimes weird things like that happen, which I think is super cool. I love this the skull image down here. It's my favorite, I think. And that's the end. And then there's just one more piece of ephemera in there. So that is all I had to share with you today. Oh. I forgot to show you. There's a little like bookmark attached to the top. So yeah, that's that's all I had to share with you today. Um, I will leave Mike's information below so you can check him out. Um, but I am just over the moon about this um, and can't wait to to dive into it. So. I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys.